Early College Academy is a program that we developed to allow our junior and senior students access to college classes at the Mount Wachusett Community College campus during their junior and senior year as a replacement for their core classes here at Gardner High School. This allows them to build their college credits towards an associate's or a bachelor's degree while also staying involved in a high school, a traditional high school experience. They can still stay enrolled in all their sports, their extracurriculars, any specialty advisories they may have been a part of, walk with their normal graduating class as they would. However, they're earning a minimum of 18 college credits, up to 40 if not more if they want to challenge themselves to apply to an associate's or a bachelor's degree. Through the program, we're able to take care of at no cost the general requirements for all of the bachelor's or associate's degrees including their English 101, their English 102, statistics as well as some classes that might be of interest to them in order to help them decide what they would like to major in such as some business classes like accounting or macroeconomics or some healthcare classes such as biology, um, psychology, human growth and development. It's a really great opportunity for students to start their college career without having to take out student loans and it also helps them build the skills they're going to need to be successful in college, like how to navigate a college campus, work with a professor, and access the different services that are available to them on a college setting. The pacing is different, dual enrollment classes, we keep on moving forward. There's not a lot of slowing down. Um, it's really in, on the students to come to office hours if they need you know, additional support. Another difference is that dual enrollment students really have a very specific goal of why they're sitting in those seats. They're looking for that transferable credit you know, or using that um, for, for their future in, in higher education. It's definitely more discussion based in a college course. They're doing all their independent reading, you know, on, on their own and then come in ready to discuss and really have those deep critical thinking discussions. A lot of these dual enrollment programs are grant funded, so um, there's an advantage to be able to get, you know, low cost college classes. I'm an English instructor, so I'm a, I'm a big word person. So even that oftentimes college terminology is a barrier. And so we're talking about admissions, transcript requests, at drop dates, withdrawal dates. Uh, this is just part of our regular conversation in a college course. So getting comfortable with that terminology might be a roadblock for a new college student, whereas our dual enrollment students are getting familiar with that. Learning those college skill sets that they wouldn't um, learn in high school. So rather than that freshman year of college seeing Blackboard for the first time, Blackboard is the college online platform. So they become familiar with using, um, using that platform. Another skill set is being able to use the college uh, library resources and the academic journals, which is a huge benefit. It can be a true confidence builder or a reality check. <laughs> um, I have some students who maybe weren't sure if college was for them, and then they're taking a college class. I treat them like college students, and oftentimes I have students who are really surprised how well they're able to keep up. And like, I've had students this year who came in maybe not so confident, and now they're going into English 102, college writing two, and we're like, hey, I got this, like, <laughs> I'm doing this. And, and I tell them all the time, hey, I'm teaching this class on Tuesday nights at the college. S same curriculum, same pacing, same everything. And so I think students are realizing like, hey, college, you know, it is for me. I wanted a classroom setting that was more self-paced and independent. And I personally saw it as a good opportunity to get some college classes out of the way by the time I graduate. I joined because I plan on going to college and then I plan on going to graduate school, which is expensive. And this is an easier way to get college credits and have it be more reliable than taking an AP test. I did take two AP tests and I got threes on both of them, so figured that might not be the way to go. Really, it gave me an opportunity to see what college is going to be like and see what to expect from my professors in my classes and the professors and advisors have been a great help finding out what college is right for me and what major is right for me. I feel like the most beneficial part is um, the time management. I drive myself to and from school and so I have to be able to switch from the college to the high school um, which has given me a good sense of like okay this class is done I need to be here by this time. So I've gotten used to just having a weird schedule and making it better. It's really not a program where you can procrastinate. You have to take the time to schedule out your week. You have to take the time to get your work done. 
and it could be really hard at times, but I think it's very much worth it in the end. I would tell another student that you have to be able to communicate well. You have to be able to say, I need help. Because you see your teachers only once or twice a week, you see your advisors really only once a week. So you have to like be able to communicate when you're struggling because if you're not turning in assignments, teachers just don't know that. I know what to look for in my college classes, how they're genuinely set up, and um, really how to communicate with my professors and other students there.